Welcome back to the Hank Strange Situation, Lifestyles of the Locked and Loaded. Make sure to check out HankStrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts. There's a lot of things we need to decriminalize. Oh, yeah. You know? and that's another thing. It seems like every senator and congressman that comes into office... They never want to take laws off the book. They want to make their mark by adding more laws. Mm -hmm. And pretty soon we're just a country of laws. And yeah. where'd our freedom go? Yeah. Um, we Excellent point. Yeah. We had this con we had, um, last night we had Rhonda Ezell on. And uh, I tried to pull out a snippet. I'm not sure when it's going uh, to be turned on. But one of the things I was saying to her is that, you know, there's lots of people in America right now very upset. Okay. And they're tearing down lots of stuff. Regardless of how you want to think about what they're tearing down, I personally think waste of time, a lot of the stuff that they're tearing down. Some people think, hey, these things are racist or whatever, tear them down. Okay, if you want to tear down something racist, how about tearing down all the gun control laws? There you go. <laughs> if, you want, you if, go. You want, if you want something big that's racist to take down, Something that's put, putting people in jail, putting, you know, lots of people in jail, including people of color. How about taking the gun control laws down and let's start there. But you know what? Instead, what we're going to do is go rip down some old statue of some, you know, uh, Confederate general or whatever. Yeah. that most of these kids don't even know. They don't even right. know. And, like, what does that mean? It doesn't mean anything to them. And Hank, and you make the great point in Virginia. I heard you on the show last night. You said, you know, why in Virginia are they tearing all these monuments down when they have a governor who is a white supremacist? <laughs> right. I have no idea, man. I saw that um, I think Pharrell was in a press conference with him because New, New, uh, Virginia uh, declared this Juneteenth, which uh, someone's going to have to explain it to me because I'm not fully an understanding of that. Uh, of what that's all about, but you know, let's say it's something uh, pro-black that they're doing. Let's let's put it in that in that category, right? I haven't really spent a bunch of time researching it, but Pharrell shows up with the governor who is in blackface. What, this this is right. this makes no sense. This no makes no sense. Even if you want to get this holiday and have this be a, a, a black holiday, let's say, right? You're gonna show up with this governor that was in blackface then that negates right. the whole thing. It doesn't make any freaking point. What's the sense of it? You know, you're it's like you're in Star Wars and you're standing there and freaking Palpatine is behind you and you're acting like it's uh, all right. awesome and hey, this now we fixed everything. Uh, re race relations are all better. Yay, go black man. <laughs> right. What the hell are you talking about? That guy was that guy was so happy to be in 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 blackface and he's still the governor. You want to tear something down, I think, like Dil Speck is saying? Tear that guy down. He should not be the governor of the state of exactly. Virginia. And what he's doing with gun control is going to put people in Virginia in prison, including black people. And it's going to have cops rolling up on people, including black people, in the state of Virginia to take guns away from them or incarcerate them because, because you're, you're taking away their, their right to the Second Amendment. And guess what? People in Virginia are just helping him along to do it. Yeah. You know? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Here, here's three things I think need to happen. We need to, we need to end all gun laws that are restricting guns. Mm -hmm. We need to stop the war on drugs. And we need to have a litmus test mm -hmm. for anybody that wants to hold a political office. They need to know the Constitution. They need to mm -hmm. understand the Constitution and live by it. Mm-hmm. I think it's two things that need to happen. Okay. Yeah, I think I would agree with that. By the way, um, I'm getting. Let me see. Uh, who said this? I think uh, Gray Death says day slavery ended. So uh, let's see. So here, I'm gonna throw this up. This is just what I pulled up here on uh, on my phone. Juneteenth. It commemorates June nineteenth, eighteen sixty five, when Union. General Gordon Granger read federal orders in Galveston, Texas, that all previously enslaved people in Texas were free. So, there you go. That's what it means. Um, and, and I'm going to say this to you, just in case like anyone like is getting this twisted and what my personal philosophy is. Um, 
just like Dylan said at the beginning when we were talking about the Second Amendment and the right to people being able to defend themselves, they were born with that right. You were born free. Absolutely. Everyone is born free. Some other human being decides to enslave you. If you think that ever ended, it never ended on this planet. Nailed it. Nailed it. So I personally don't I don't I don't follow that. And I'm descendant of slaves from the Caribbean. That's where I'm that's where I was born in the Caribbean. I'm descendant of slaves in the Caribbean. And my philosophy is every day you wake up, you have to fight to be free. Absolutely. There's people there's people out there trying to enslave you all the time. So that's just the way I look at it. And I'm not listen, I don't give a crap about holidays, man. <laughs> I'll just tell you guys, I none of them matter to me. The point, the point, though, that I can't help but see is that there's, you know, you've got people like Pharrell who are showing up there to celebrate with this governor that he gives you a day. And this guy was in blackface. And then at the same time, he's creating laws that if we go back to the 80s in New York City and lots of other places, they created laws where one vial of crack, like that's basically cocaine mixed in, you know, with baking baking soda and stuff like that. A vial of that gives you 20 years in prison. That's yeah. equivalent to today. If you've got this piece of plastic, this you don't even have to have it on a gun. This piece of plastic makes you a felon, gives you 10 years, $250,000 fine. How is it different? Right. How is that exactly. different? We're talking right now, all of these people with braces out there, now all of a sudden, you're a felon. Yeah. In including many law enforcement who I've seen with AR pistols. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What are we doing? How come we can't see this like blatant hypocrisy? How come we, why are we blind to that? Yep, and this started with the bump stocks. It's just a snowball effect and it's only gonna get worse. Yeah. It's just amazing to me. And a lot of these places, I'm not saying, look, I know there's places that are run by Republicans and all that, but we're talking about like what happened in Seattle. That's a place run by Democrats. Right. A lot of these places are run by Democrats and liberals. And instead of them explaining to you why they didn't fix a problem, they're like, oh, yeah, this is this person's fault right here. It's the president. Racism. Yeah, yeah. No, <laughs> right. Look at the look at the police chief of Seattle. How how the uh, you know she wants to blame the president for stuff when um it's you know it, it falls on her leadership. How does if she she makes the mentality about police are racist and whatnot? Well, yeah. Control your department. Yeah, uh, I carry my revolver in single action. Said would Pharrell have shown up if he was a conservative that wore blackface? No, because he would have swore he was racist. Yeah, and and look. I mean, I, I, I'm going to tell you guys, I could give two craps about that. I'm just trying to make the point that people are just blind to this. It's like selective of what they want to see. And they just don't understand. I mean, I can't be the only person out there. I'm pretty sure Killer Mike, who's a freaking socialist, damn near communist, and campaigned for freaking Bernie Sanders, is trying to tell these guys. He's a rapper. He's telling these people, you need the right to defend yourself. We've seen other rappers defending themselves. We've seen lots of black people in America defending themselves. When someone's telling you that they're gonna make it illegal for you to be able to do that, for you to own something, they are setting you up for prison, which equals slavery. It does. And you see a lot of free labor coming out of these prisons. Yeah. You know. You do. But it's just weird, man. I mean, what the, the, the things that we're saying here, it's like most people just can't see it. Yeah. They just can't see well, it. You know, they're just happily letting these guys do create these things that in the future is going to lock them up and lock up their children. And that's too bad. And, I, and, and Hank, if you don't mind me saying something, mm -hmm. you know, you know, with me. Um, I've been woke up for a long time, you know, I mean, I've been I've been watching your channel for mm -hmm. Uh, probably you know close to about seven years or so and okay. um, I've you know I just remember going to high school thinking about all this stuff you know um, right around when Obama was president when he you know when all when um, he was really trying hard in his second mm -hmm. term to you know just take out the Constitution as mm -hmm. much as he can and uh, I, I just remember walking around school and stuff and looking yeah. at all my all my friends that have no idea about what's going on and um, I, I just uh, 
I just look at all this stuff and so many people are just not are not woken up and I hope at least that with all these tragic events that are happening with all these new people buying guns that it has woken some people up to realize that you know we are on our own and we really um, the U.S. is being targeted in my opinion by many different forces due to the fact that we are the last free nation and once they make us like everybody else they can have global tyranny that's and you it. know that's not me just being a, a conspiracy theorist but yeah. it's you know i mean one of the reason why i think the u.s is like our rights are under such attack is because we've seen you know like with canada and other countries we've seen so many countries lose their rights that now they're down to one yeah. And if they can get that one, there, there will it's be over. nowhere for our. There's yeah. nowhere for us to run it's and over hide from anymore. Yeah, I we just, can't go run and hide anywhere. Yeah, I saw this in the news, and I didn't want to bring it up because it kind of pisses me off. And I was like, okay, let me try to, you know, Dylan's going to be on, Daniel's going to be on. Let me try not to be pissed off. But I saw the family of George Floyd appealing to the oh. UN, oh. and the only thing oh that I could gosh. think is, what the actual. F- Yes. That's the only thing that I could think. Like, are you serious? You're going to go to the they UN. Should be, you're they go, should be thrown in jail. You're going to go to these them. African nations that have that have completely destroyed their own people. Okay? Yeah. That have no sense of decency. You're going to go to the to the most horrible countries in the world and you're going to ask them for help? Yeah. Okay, we, you've lost your mind now. So you're you're ignoring what's happened in America. I mean, I feel bad that that happened to that guy, but I'm telling I'm telling you something that you're ignoring what's actually happening in America, where all kinds of people of of all races, of all genders, of all beliefs, of all creeds are with you. They're pissed off about what happened to that guy too. If you don't believe it, I mean, the other day we were reading the letter from uh, the uh, Franklin Armory from the owner of Franklin Armory. I mean, for listen, people heard you. There are people out there protesting. There's people. There's people doing something about this in America. What the What the hell does this have to do with the UN? And and I'll say this too. You know, my deepest. uh, I definitely send my wishes and uh, my best wishes and my uh, condolences to the Floyd family. I I hate to see that happen to anybody of any color. And but my thing is, you know, you go to a foreign entity to try to get them to control the u.s uh that is a criminal act and they yeah, should i'm not sure how legal that is. It, it's not legal it will never it's happen if you want to if you want to kick if you want to kick off something really Jared bad of, uh, let Jared let those guys even believe they could try that but come on who's who's sitting on this board you're going to north korea sitting on there China, you know. China, Russia. You, you, Jared from uh, Jared from Guns and Gadgets. One of you, you know, one of my other uh, channels I watch. Him, he said it best. Where you know, you allow a foreign army to take their place on, you know, to land on U.S. soil. I mean, it's just not. It's yeah. not going to happen. I this mean, is where. Just... This is where you lose me forever. Oh this yeah. This is where you lose Absolutely. me forever. There's, Absolutely. there's, there's no sense in that. There's no sense in that. Okay. You want to do something about this? Don't turn to the people. You know what? Pick one of those countries and go live there. Yeah. Pick see one of those countries out. and go live there and see how awesome that is. Yeah. Okay? It, we have a severe deficit of critical thinking in this country. Yeah, man. Yeah. Yeah. People have been dumbed down to, like, a ridiculous point. An absolutely yeah. ridiculous point. That The fact that there's not an outrage about this. Like, yep. you're actually going to go, when you when you actually, whatever the hell it takes for you to get up in front of the UN, to me that means you ha- you don't know Yeah. The person who gets up in front of, maybe, maybe that person's never left America. Maybe they've never seen another country. They've never seen these other third world countries out there. They've never seen what people who look like me do to people who look like me. It, the problem yeah. that we have is a human being problem. It is. Okay. Some of us are horrible people, and some of oh, those yeah. horrible people run countries and sit on the UN. They could give two craps about America, and then, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll guarantee you that. There's nothing, they can't do about it, man. They can't freaking help themselves. No, they can't. 
anytime you see the UN inter, intervene in any in any conflict in any skirmish, it's always head up, you know, head up their butts, and yeah. they don't. It's, and it's you know crap. you know what's sad? It's like the 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 people who are supposed to be leaders in America, people who are supposed to be leaders for minorities here in America, people like Al Sharpton and Jesse Jackson and all these uh, who, people, in my personal opinion, who are basically balls. They're self-promoting clowns. They're, they're, and they're sellouts. They've so failed. They've so failed people in this country that they're freaking turning to the UN. <laughs> Just yep, think about absolutely. that shit. Just think absolutely. about that. You've lost <laughs> and, your damn mind. You've d lost your and, damn mind to believe that. And anyone who yeah. thinks like, oh, you know, Hank, you're a sellout because you do whatever, man. I will, I will, I am willing to fight for my freedom every single day. I don't give a Absolutely. who wants to take it from me. I don't care if that person looks exactly like me. I am willing to fight and I'm willing to die and I'm willing to have my sons die for their freedom. But I won't ask the UN to help me do. Shit. I wouldn't ask them to help me wipe my. No. So I mean, how, do, how the hell do you even contact the UN? You know. Uh, of course, they're hundred percent. They're, you can do they're it hundred percent happy to to slap America in the face in America, and and sit up there and pretend like they're the judges or the arbiters of something, and they could actually do something, and they can't freaking save themselves. That's like you're on a ship, and there's all these people out in the ocean drowning, and you've got some problems on the ship for sure. Some bad stuff happened on the ship. And you go out to the idiots who are in the ocean drowning, and you're like, you guys should do something about this. <laughs> right. Exactly. How about they you know, get on the ship first? How about they do what people have done here in America for a long time to fight for this freedom that we have, including people of color who are doing it now? Make sure to check out HankStrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts.